there, my name's Ricky James. Um, I'm a member of the Split Screen Van Club uh, on the committee and have been for many years. Uh, my role within the club is organising club displays. This particular van is a 1954 right-hand drive Van Dorf Samba. Particularly rare in terms of the fact that there are only 17 in existence. Uh, this is obviously one of them. Um, they very, very rarely come on the market and when they do, they're an arm and a leg. I didn't buy, the, buy it for that reason. I bought it because I loved it. I, I've had Sambas um, pretty much most of my life. Uh, started with a 67, then I got a 65, then a 64, then a 60, then a 58, and then this came up and I had to have it. I love these vans just because of their, the basics of them. They're just so basic in comparison to the later buses. Every part that you look at is almost impossible to replace and if you do find it it's extortionally expensive but I just love them I just love the the essence of them uh, the buzz that they create and the enthusiasm that people get when they see them and that I get when I drive it um, I've done quite a bit to it it isn't by any means standard anymore um, Originally, it would have come with a, uh, a 30 horse engine with a top speed of, on a good day, 50, 55 miles an hour. Um, and this van, I thought, I'm just going to have some fun with it. So I decided to go down the speed road and put um, some uh, performance parts on it. I've got performance brakes on it, Porsche brakes, Porsche gearbox, 911, um, five speed box in it, and a 2.6 914 Porsche engine in it, um, all ported and perform it performs amazingly i mean it's not really a, a drag racing vehicle as such because i mean we do we do a lot of drag racing in the bwa and i use this quite a lot but it, where it comes into its own is on the motorway where it can cruise legally um at about 3000 rpm which is great i mean if on the autobahns of course it can go a lot faster which we do from time to time but yeah it's um it's just a phase i'm going through and i'm thoroughly enjoying doing it The van um, initially was in a fairly poor state. I mean, structurally it was okay, but um, it was very tired. Um, the paint was faded, but that's part of the reason why I decided I, I had to have it. Um, I didn't really want to change too much in terms of the, the way the van looked, in, uh, in terms of paintwork, um, the crustiness of it, or as, they, as the latest term, rat, the rat look of it. Um, when I did this bus, there wasn't such a terminology as rat look. It was just a scruffy old bus, which is what I was into. I'd done three of my Sambas, were all, had all been painted, and this one I thought, you know what, there's enough original paint on it to leave it. So that's what I did. I left it and tried to keep the original paint. Um, back in those days, everybody thought I was insane, you know. I've been asked on numerous occasions whether I'd like to sell a van, and to, to be fair, no. Um, no, I mean, like I say, I've had the bus since 96. My family... Um, my kids don't know, they don't understand life without it. Mm -hmm. 